Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Drew R. And right now we're in Atlantic City. We're going to be doing a driving tour as well as a, um, a tour along the boardwalk as we go through Atlantic City. We're going to head straight here on Christopher Columbus Drive. We got a Bass Pro Shops on my right, a Nike store on my left, and a shopping mall as well. And we're right in front of Caesars Palace. We're taking this left, a left-hand turn on Atlantic Avenue. And on my right is Caesars Palace, which is one of the casinos here in Atlantic City. If you're new, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and comment down below. It really, really helps out with the videos. So Atlantic City is a city in New Jersey. Most of you guys know, but for the people that don't know, it's a very, very famous um, beach town with lots of casinos um, and it's basically known as the Las Vegas of the East Coast. There's lots of um, gambling here. On my left we have a Tommy Hill figure and on my right there's a Banana Republic. And we've got a charter bus on my right. On my left there is a Ralph Lauren as well. So there's some very nice clothing stores fancy clothing stores here in um, Atlantic City. We're passing Ohio Avenue. Now, one of the interesting things about Atlantic City is that the street names in um, Candyland, not Candyland, um, Monopoly, are named after the streets in Atlantic City, which is very neat. We're passing a Popeyes on my right. And we are now at the intersection of Atlantic Avenue and MLK Boulevard or MLK Drive. No, it's Boulevard. Atlantic City is also known for um, the Tropicana Resort as well, which is a very, very nice casino resort. They also have Caesars Palace um, and a couple other casino resorts as well. There's also um, a lot of good restaurants as well. In Atlantic City, they have Hard Rock Cafe, Rainforest Cafe, Johnny Rockets, um, and a bunch of other restaurants as well. And I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that um, Atlantic City is, I think, the biggest boardwalk in the country or in the world. I, I don't know for sure. I'm going to have to Google that. Um, Our next right turn will be on Delaware Avenue. So we'll be taking a right on Delaware Avenue once we get there. Now, Atlantic City, outside of the uh, beach and like resort area and the casinos and whatever, um, a lot of it is actually, uh, there's a lot of poverty and crime in Atlantic City. We're passing Kentucky Avenue right here. And we're also passing New York Avenue right here. As you'll notice, a lot of the streets here are named after states. We're passing Tennessee Avenue, and like I said, we'll be taking a right on Delaware Avenue. We have a rent center on my right, a Cricket Wireless, and a Wells Fargo Bank. We're passing South Carolina Avenue here. And this is North Carolina Avenue. It's very neat. So on my right, I'm going to pan the camera over here so you can see there is the Hard Rock Casino and Resort, I think. Hotel. It's not a resort. It's a hotel. And I, didn't, I didn't know that Hard Rock had its own hotel, but I'm pretty sure we'll see it um, as we get on the boardwalk. There's a neat looking building right here that has some neat architecture. We're passing Pennsylvania Avenue, which is the next intersection. As well up here this building well we just passed it but that is the um, ocean resort and casino and then you can see hard rock cafe as well not hard rock cafe hard rock casino and hotel
on my right is Crown Liquors and a Bank of America. And here's a very good view of the ocean casino and resort right here. As you can see, there's also the showboat, which I also believe is another hotel as well. We're at the intersection of Atlantic Ave and Virginia Avenue. And um, I'm not 100% sure where Delaware Avenue is, but we got to find it. You have the Atlantic City Fire Station on my right. And we're passing Maryland Avenue. Is this Delaware Ave? Yep. We're going to take a right-hand turn on Delaware Avenue here. And then we'll be taking a left on Pacific Avenue. As you can see, the ocean resort is huge. There's a showboat. It kind of looks like um, those buildings on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. That's neat. I've never been to New Orleans. I want to go one day. Something I'm noticing is we're hitting a lot of the red lights here in Atlantic City. That's one thing I'm noticing. We're taking this left on Pacific Avenue. And um, hopefully we'll find some parking soon so we can um, walk on the boardwalk. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think the Tropicana is in this area. I don't know if it's that building right there. All right, we're not gonna be gambling or anything, but I just figured I would show you guys what the casino, what Ocean Resort actually looks like because we parked at Ocean the ocean resort that's the parking lot we parked in so or it was a parking garage so i figured i would show y'all the casino area as you can see so i'm going to show you guys the casino building here this is where you go to lose money people <laughs> <laughs> this is where you go to lose money. You lose a lot of money in the casinos. Here's the thing about casinos. You have absolutely no windows, so you have no concept of time. And they have this like flashy type of vibe to get you to spend more money. That's how the casinos work. And that's how casinos make money, y'all. And um, I think the casinos in Vegas are actually very well air conditioned. I've never been to Las Vegas, so I don't know. As you can see, quite a few people gambling today. Not that many. Alright, so we're on the boardwalk now. Um, right now, there's the Ferris wheel right there. I might want to go on it. I'll go on anything but a roller coaster. I'm so freaking scared of uh, roller coasters. Roller coasters scare me. So um, I'm hoping we get something to eat because I'm a little hungry. I want to go to Johnny Rockets. I've never had Johnny Rockets or Hard Rock Cafe. We're also passing right now. Oh, on my right is the House of Blues. Can y'all see that? Yeah, that's the House of Blues up there. All right, so we are on the boardwalk right now. Um, and I wanted to do a ride on like a Ferris wheel or something, but it doesn't look like any of the places are open today. Right here is the House of Blues up here. And uh, we're approaching Hard Rock. We're gonna go into this arcade sports bar here, I think. I'm not so sure. we're now in the arcade. Hopefully there'll be some good arcade games. Yeah, they got some claw machines, but you never win anything off those claw machines. 
I think they're actually rigged so that you don't win anything. But yeah, this place looks dope as well. Guys, some of the prizes in these claw machines are insane. Like, look, you have a chance of winning a VR headset. That's insane. But yeah, good luck. Good luck getting that. The chances of you getting that VR headset are like winning the lottery. It won't happen. And look at this right here. You can get a freaking Louis Vuitton purse right here. It's probably it's, it's probably not real Louis Vuitton. It's probably fake, but that's still crazy. Like, yeah, the, the chances of you winning that are even slimmer than winning the VR headset. You could win this giant teddy bear. Isn't that cute right there? Wow. And then look at this giant Gucci purse. I got the card for the arcade. This one um, has 250 credits on it. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is the basketball. All right, guys, I'm playing ski ball now. Um, just gotta swipe the cord. Hit start. All right, let's get this started. You have to like do a really fast, you gotta go really fast. Like, okay. let's see how many tickets I win. Let's hope it's good. Oh my God, I just got 150. Oh my, yo. All right, so the next game I'm playing is the piano key game. I'm gonna see if I, if there's a place I can put the camera and I'll show you guys how it works, so. The next game I'm playing is Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune's a good TV show. Alright. Here's the puzzle. Fill in letters for the Mega Win. Just one more letter. Pull the handle to spin the wheel. Oh, okay, I want to get an L. Go for it. I don't think I'm going to get an L. Okay, I won 25 tickets. You win! Alright, so right here is the Hard Rock logo, and right here is the Hard Rock Cafe. So, I'm really, really hungry, so we're gonna head out for lunch. We're gonna go to um, Johnny Rockets. There's the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. On my left, you can get um, ice cream, milkshakes, water ice, cheesesteaks, sausage, and peppers. Yo, what up, my home slice? <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so corny. Home slice, that is the most, like, white boy thing ever. They got another spot with ice cream. After lunch, I definitely want to get some ice cream, like, covered in sprinkles. I love rainbow sprinkles. They also got uh, Italian ice. Do you guys say Italian ice or water ice? I live in North Jersey, so I always say Italian ice. Guys, I didn't know they had Margaritaville in Atlantic City. For all the people that don't know, um, Margaritaville is an island restaurant owned by Jimmy Buffet. I feel like pushing people on those carts is kind of messed up. I feel like that's very, very hard for those people to push those people on carts. Especially, did you see the size of those two women? That's not right. And they probably don't get paid well either. All right, so we're in this clothing store right now. They got some of the funniest oh, fun. shirts ever. <laughs> Look, you got Simpson. Um, you got Simpson high off that marijuana, bro. Same thing with Bugs Bunny right there. Tom and Jerry, that's a good one. Smoke up. <laughs> Imagine... Imagine wearing that to school. Oh, you 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 get suspended like that. 
They also got these um, Zodiac sign shirts back here. I just noticed them. Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini. Where's Where's Leo? I'm a Leo. Oh, they do got Leo shirts. Yeah. I'm a Leo. I was born in August. Damn, you guys. What are these characters called? I forget, but they're... Looks like they're... It looks like they're high. <laughs> Alright, we're here at Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Check out these lights. Damn, this place is giving me like total casino vibes. I'm coming in here because I was at Johnny Rockets, but I, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I'm looking for a bathroom. Yeah, just check out this place. This place looks um a little bit different from the last place we were at. Alright, so my first is my first time at Johnny Rockets, I had a great experience there. The food there's really good. It's not really good, it's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. They have a nice retro vibe there. Like a like a like a 50s, 60s type of vibe in Johnny's Rocket, which is really dope. Which is very cool. Now we're off to the steel pier. Maybe I'll go on a ride, probably not, but we'll see. And I definitely want to get um, an ice ice cream cone. Like if that if that John is not, you know, like covered in sprinkles, I don't want it. It has to be like covered in the ra those rainbow sprinkles. Uh, I like ice cream with or without sprinkles, but I prefer it with sprinkles. So overall, I think the ambience here in Atlantic City is really good. The ambience here is like, it's a nice vibe. So that's good. I should have took one of those, <laughs> but we're not going that far. And I'm not, I'm not going to walk to the Tropicana because the Tropicana is actually pretty far down from here. From where we are, we're at Kentucky Avenue right now. As you can see, they got street signs right there. So like I said, I think it's terrible that those people have to push those carts and they have to push those big fat people around that are too lazy to walk. Crazy. Guys, we're going to be doing some go-kart, go-karting today. Guys, some of the go-karts they have have really dope designs. Look at this one right here. Supreme and Louis Vuitton, I want to be in that one. <laughs> I'll be riding that John around like, that's going to be fun. That's a material girl right there. What is she on, bro? <laughs> material girl. I don't think they know what's really You would have to be crazy to go on that ride right there. And you would have to be crazy to go on that one too. Like, oh my God. Look, like I am not a daredevil at all. That's just not me. I refuse to get on a roller coaster. I'm telling you. I mean, I know these aren't roller coasters, but regardless, I'm like, I'm super scared of roller coasters. I'm a brave person, but I'm just scared of rides like this. That's all. You see, this one right here is not so bad. Like, like this one, I'd be all right to go on. Like, it just, it just goes round. It does. It's not like a roller coaster, you know. Damn, them pigeons going nuts. <laughs> Look at that. Or no, they're not pigeons. They're seagulls. Them seagulls are. Oh, going these seagulls nuts. are going nuts over this like food on this person's table. Look. <laughs> So that's going to be it for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog in Atlantic City. Um, something I do want to say is I, we will be checking out um, Lucy the Elephant tonight in Margate City. Is it Margate City or is it called Margate? I forget. But that will not be on this video. This will be on my community page. So make sure you go check out my community page because that will be up on there. So um, yeah, that's going to be for today's video. Um, we're probably going to stay overnight in Atlantic City. That's just a change of plans because originally we had a plan to go home, but we're deciding to stay. But a lot of the hotels in Atlantic City are expensive, so we'll probably stay at like a Best Western or a Days Inn or something like that. Not too sure, but that's going to be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless to everyone.